Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the after show. Cheers, everybody. Let me drop the link. Okay, I, I'm not gonna say too much, but there's something happening in the background. I'm gonna let you guys in on the on what's happening in just a couple of minutes. I don't wanna I don't wanna spoil the surprise, but it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. Okay. All right, now that I have everything sorted out, let's talk about watches a little bit. Uh, it, you know, today on the pre-show, we spent the whole day talking about the disappearance, the seemingly, the vanishment, the of, wait, okay, there we go, sorry about that, of the timepiece gentleman who is yet to be found. Very, very interesting. Uh, if anyone who's watching this live stream, if anyone has any updates, please go to timwright.com. There is a button you can click and send me. I will make sure to inform everyone as soon as possible so that the community can be updated. Here we go. Uh, let's see. We've got Reinhard Lampano. Yo, hello, man. Panos. Kalos, this timepiece gentleman just dropped a new video. What he did? No. No way. Let's see. Let's see. No. I wish. But nope. Thank you for raising my hopes. And oh, there we go. There's. <laughs> I should have read the whole thing. Uh, wasn't exactly sure what you were talking about, but uh, Marco, thank you for the upvote. Jubilee, Jubilee. What's with the down downvotes? Everyone upvotes downvotes. Uh, yeah, guys. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, I see. Very interesting. It's okay. It's okay. Look, it is It is what it is. Uh, Lady G, uh, this channel is kind of trash. No lie. Hey, you know, it. Uh, it is what it is. It's not professional. I'm not running this out of a studio or anything. I'm just kind of doing it from my living room. So it's just the beginning. We, we've only been doing this for like six months. Just kind of having fun. Uh, but... Uh, Look, I appreciate the comment. Everything helps. Thank you, Lady G. Uh, everyone, Marcus says, uh, up what everybody knows. <laughs> it's possible. Duco Ted, what's up, man? And let's see, we got Jubilee Jubilee. Ernie Balta. Timmy, what's good? Hey, uh, I... The reason I'm even doing this uh, after show because there is an incredible article on monochrome watches. There's a few one-off pieces that I wanted to take a look at. And I figured, you know, instead of just doing it by myself, why not uh, do it with you guys? And check it out. Marty Evans, good day. Gents, a marathon today at Sam. Ah, it's not... <laughs> It is kind of a marathon, but uh, ah, I'm so happy I started uh, at three o'clock. Turns out I thought there was there would be not much potential during that uh, window, the three o'clock window. But it seems like uh, there was a lot of people watching. I was shocked. So there is, there is potential in that time frame. Tim, have you checked uh, out an N Odane watches? Can you please look it up for me? Uh, N the hell and or vein okay watch us let's check it out 
Okay. Huh. It's very peculiar. Okay. Oh. Huh. I've never seen this brand in my life. It do it doesn't look I got to say it doesn't look too bad. Uh, I've seen watches that are far far worse. Um it, it, they are expensive and uh, I don't know if I would be buying one of these. Uh Ernie Balta, what is your what is your collection? That that's what I really want to know. Like what what are you thinking of buying this? Because before I can recommend something like this, I would really need to know what you what you've got. I mean, it says it's a what's a virtu, virtu, virtuous enamel. Interesting. It, it's I, I the best part of these watches is the simplicity of them. It's just uh, there's not even the date, which I like. However, these the brushing just kind of looks janky, janky. Uh, Logan Hall, Tim, you're a madman. You've already done like five hours of streaming today. Another three? No, 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 no. I'm just doing a a kind of a easy half hour wrap up show. Um, there's just a few things that I want to take a look at because I'm not I'm not gonna be able to sleep if I don't take a look at it. Tim, did you see the news from the lawyer? No, but I uh, Marco and JJ went on to uh, the Mark Goldberg stream. They're trying to get on. Uh, hopefully, that was the, the, <laughs> the secret that they didn't want to tell you. They wanted to go and check it out. Hello, Lolix. What is up? Hey, man. How are you doing? How's it going, dude? How's everything been? Man, did you see it? The internet blew up. Where have you been, my, my man? I've been just working this entire time. The timepiece <laughs> gentleman is gone. Yeah, I heard. I saw. I literally. Just, I just watched part of the stream from like two days ago with Archie, where you guys had Theo and Harris, and you had just like everybody jumping. I literally just saw it like right now. Yeah. <laughs> crazy it's so cool i saw and, that little jab that archie threw at me i literally was just like skipping through and then i just saw that one part and i was like <laughs> what the fuck dude <laughs> nah you can come back on if, if you if you ever decide to go back it's uh, uh are you kidding me i'm doing great over here i don't need him look at all these wonderful scotches everybody got me i'm doing fine obviously by the way i've been drinking that blue jesus christ i think i'm like getting sick from it it's so strong Oh, yeah, you have to you have to go easy on that stuff. Oh, you have to pace it, but I'm like literally pounding the stuff. It's pretty good. I'm on board. I right, yeah, let me throw my AC on. I'll be right up. I'll be right yeah, back. let me let me pull, let me bring this up. What is what is this? What is this? Oh, okay. We watched this during the pre-show. Uh now uh, so I'll just summer. Oh, okay, when 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 Lolix come, comes back, I'll summarize this. Uh, this was the first thing we watched today during the pre-show. Uh, actually, watched this as the as the whole live stream. I I, I inter I stopped the video a couple of times, interrupted to uh, to comment on some things. People complained. But I'm gonna I'm gonna tell Lolix what, what happened in this in this video. This is pretty crazy. We got uh, Logan Hall. Half an hour in Tim's time is three hours in real time. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, getting the microphone together. So you could says, okay, I didn't make that. Was eating. Yeah. Uh, it, check this out, Lolix. What's up? Okay, when you're ready. Have you seen this video? This is Timepiece Gentleman's lawyer ha did an appearance yeah. on like a morning uh, news show in Dallas. Okay. And uh, the ho the hosts were terrible. First of all, the hosts of the show were, were terrible. They didn't Whoa, challenge he was, on, he was on the morning news? No, no, not the Timepiece Gentleman. Their lawyer. Okay. 
Yeah. And uh, they asked the lawyer, like, where where did the timepiece gentleman disappear? Okay. And you know what the answer was? What? Can't the guy take a couple of days off and do some charity work and not be uh, slandered? That's pretty wild. <laughs> like, he's very clearly hiding somewhere, right? <laughs> he's very clearly, like, hiding, hiding out. <laughs> the lawyer even said, uh, the, the lawyer said, he, 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 you know, to disappear, he would have to be either the stupidest criminal mm -hmm. or the genius uh, marketer. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? I wonder what really happened, though. I mean, have you guys oh. you guys probably been digging into it? So, I'm, going on? I mean, there's a few pieces here and there. There's a court appearance that uh, Anthony has to make on July 6th, but it's unrelated to 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 this. Mm -hmm. uh, now, there's also a few new businesses that they're opening up, and they're, the, the documents have been filed in Arizona. And that's for one for like hype store something. something How like are you guys finding this out that he's, that he's putting in applications for business licenses? Public documents, public, public records. Documents. Or, yeah. is Perth, or is Perth using his government contacts right now? No, no, it's, it's public record in the United States. Okay. That's yeah. pretty funny, dude. Like, man. We should do a video segment where we go fly out to Austin to find him. I, dude, if my like, channel was costs. much bigger, yeah. If if I because it's it costs nine hundred dollars to fly today. I actually that's I nothing. checked. That's I was gonna do it. That's nothing. Nine hundred dollars. My biggest worry would be getting time off from work. We should do yeah. it. I mean, for me, I don't work, so. <laughs> well, living life, throwing it on. Nice. Uh, but like, oh my God, I, I said like, I, if it was like $400, I'll be like, you know what? Forget about it. Let's do it. I would have flown. I don't, I don't care. But Duke Ted says he lives three hours. From uh, you. Duke Ted, do the Lord's work. And go we need a second. There. See, the problem is, is that the, the people, it's been two days. And besides this one picture yeah. with scratched up, uh, <coughs> names, yeah. That's all we got. We didn't even have nobody. Everyone is so lazy. Nobody went there and took a second picture to, t you know, to from like at least different angle, a close up. Yeah. Go on. Be because this image doesn't tell us much. We just see uh, the damaged lettering. But I want to see a close up to see if things were moved around, if they came back to the to the place of crime. If there oh, maybe yeah. there's orange tape. It's Outside. like the end of uh, the boiler room, that movie. You go in there and there's nothing but just like phones in the wall. <laughs> like the whole place is just like cleared out. Yeah. And wow. that's I heard Sushi yeah. says, uh, why shut down social media to do charity? And yeah. also, why not tell people you're going to do charity? And also, why were they a chair? Why were they accepting charity just two weeks ago? Literally, what was when they were asking for $2,000? Yeah. What were they, if not charity? How many people do you think actually gave him two thousand dollars? So I I, ha I got like one message from uh, someone. They said that uh, on some forums, they said that one hundred and sixty-seven people were. Maybe maybe there was already some kind of Facebook group set up where one hundred one hundred and sixty-seven people. You I mean, somebody said, "Well, three hundred eighty k. That's not uh, too much to run away with." I mean, so you, yeah, yeah. At the same time, who would literally go through all this trouble just for a quarter of a million dollars? What can you do with a quarter of a million dollars? Well, but you add yeah. watches. There's ten million dollars worth of watches in there. You think he remember? Remember, Archie always said that watches are an off ledger asset. <laughs> Look, no, no. I mean, but it's quite possible that yeah. uh, now my my best theory is that they filed for for bankruptcy. For sure. Because I'm yeah. thinking they took that three hundred thousand, and what they did, they uh, because some somebody was also saying that uh, uh, that Anthony is big into Ethereum, mm. and it's it doesn't seem like a coincidence to me that it this happens immediately after the collapse of the crypto market. Yeah. So. I think I yeah, it, it really does sound like he's just filing BK and then just yeah. taking off and cutting his losses. And he's probably mm -hmm. gonna just open up a new company and not be the face of it. That's mm -hmm. in reality what he's doing, probably. 
but that's mm. dumb because he's already like a celebrity, so to speak. But but it could be a lot more. Duke Ted says, I bet it's over 800 people. Oh, it could be more. It could be over 2,000 people. I mean, if he got piles of money in, if he got like $2 million, maybe he got the cash. They, because this money was sent directly into his bank account. Yeah. Oh, welcome, JJ. What's going on, JJ? Like, think about it. What if he got 3,000 people sent him 2,000? And he got it straight into his account. And he decided, you know what? Let's get out of here. Let's let's go Tiger King on this uh, on this whole situation. Yeah, all I'm saying is that me and you should go rent a Ferrari and <laughs> go and like track this guy down, like Miami uh, Vice. Me and you, let's do it. Have so you I'm seen? Gonna... Hey, Lolex, have you JJ, seen you, the you, the watch that JJ got? You're still muted. Yeah, now he got a watch. He got a wa watch. JJ, can you talk? No, we can't hear you. I'm still muted. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay. No, nope, mute it. Maybe, maybe you, you click on the cog. The cog. Maybe you got the wrong thing on. What did he get? Just give me a hint. Did he get a Daytona? He's got a, no. He got a Patek. Can you hear me now? Yes. Oh, yeah, JJ, you got a Patek? Hold on. I just want to check. This. Let me take now? a wild guess. What Patek? Yes. Got. Okay. I'm gonna assume he got like a Nautilus. With some no. sort of crazy, he didn't get an Nautilus. No, no, I would no, I, I, I would like a, a Nautilus, but too, too expensive, too hype for me. He went very classy. Is that it? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> really yes. yes. <laughs> no. Look at that. Okay. Oh, wow. I think you showed me a photo of that. Yeah. The, that well, two dials, right? Blue and gray. Yeah. The yeah. blue is white gold. The gray is platinum. That's a platinum, yeah. Damn. That's nice. Is that a okay? So it's got an annual calendar. Annual it's calendar chronograph. chronograph. <laughs> it's a chronograph and an annual calendar. Yeah. So yeah. All your bases are covered. <laughs> and yeah. platinum. What? Turns out you could shave with it too. It's, it could do everything. Right. <laughs> it washes my car every Saturday. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Great. Nice. What strap does it come on? Uh, it just came on a brown uh, gator strap. Brown and gray. That's cool. Brown mm -hmm. gator. I got um. I ordered a few from uh, Aaron Bespoke. So Aaron Bespoke. a couple of weeks, probably four weeks, I think. That's cool. Nice, dude. Congrats. What did that set you back? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, I got actually a really good deal. Forty six thousand. <sighs> God damn, dude. <laughs> 40, <laughs> that's a car. That's a new bag of shells. That watch <laughs> when was new was selling for ninety six thousand. Oh well, then there you go. Yeah. But that's like an actual car. When people talk about watches, they'll be like, oh, six, seven grand, that's like a car. Now, 40 grand is an actual hmm. decent car. Yeah. Right. Six grand is used car. 10 yeah. years, 200 walk miles. Along with like a fully loaded BMW on his wrist. That's yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, and also, Marco, don't worry about it. <laughs> take, take a break. <laughs> yeah. I love how cynical Tim is for every situation. Thank you. Yeah, that would be Bye. so funny. That's a car that won't appreciate love. Yeah, that's true. That would be so funny if we went to go hunt the timepiece gentleman down. Oh. Learn a mic. Like, sir, sir, the people have, have questions. And you're just like throwing a mic in his face. <laughs> Answer, come on. Because that would be actual kind of reporting. That, you know, it's like actual journalism. Uh, we would be doing actual journalism. How cool we is that? You would get like, yeah, 100,000 views on YouTube for that, for sure. Yeah. Right. For oh, sure. my God. Speaking of views, I need some views. Daddy has to pay for this paddock. I need a thousand subscribers so I can get some super chats. Okay, just gonna start an OnlyFans right now. Just him wearing watches. <laughs> hey, look, I'm I'm fastly approaching 700. I'm almost oh, yeah. there. Free bit, free Britney. You guys want to know what I've been doing this entire time? I'm just following the Britney Spears conservative ship stuff. That's how uh, I don't know what's happening. No. I have no idea. People didn't say free Bill Cosby. They were saying. Free Britney. What Dude, the hell? Her stuff is way crazier. It turns no, out I, they have documents showing that she's been like forcibly fed. Uh, anti she's like a slave. Animals. She's like a slave. Yeah. Her parents own or her dad owns her like pretty much as a person. It makes it's completely fucked. And it's, oh, yeah. I and mean, also she, they forcibly put an IUD inside of her so that she wouldn't get pregnant. Damn. That's crazy. How is this? How's any of this? Like. How she, is this legal? And they're and yeah. they can sue her. Yeah, that she's so afraid. Yeah, the whole thing is ridiculous. It, and also, Bill Cosby is out. Oh, what yeah. all the charges dropped? I, I I was assuming that was going to happen. That he wasn't going to die in jail, but 
Yeah. The but but, but the, you know how they dropped all the charges against him? Oh. Apparently, there was like a... It was like a... They're saying it's a Fifth Amendment issue. They, uh, when they were doing some kind of uh, investigation, they told him to like, hey, just tell us the truth. We will not use this against you in court. And he said, oh, yeah, yeah. If you're not going to use this against me in court, uh, then yeah, I did it. Yeah. <laughs> Confessed. And okay. then, but, but those idiots, they actually did use mm -hmm. that confession in court. Mm -hmm. And uh, so his lawyers were able to kind of massage it into basically uh, annulling. Weren't most of those cases from like 30 to 40 years ago? Well, it was only for one. Yeah, yeah. most right, of them right. were too old, but he was charged only on one against one woman. From like the 80s. So I don't understand. Like there's got to be a statute of limitation in regards to that, right? Yeah, but one, what for one, for I was like dozens and dozens yeah there was one that that we're able to charge her charge him oh, with that's nuts, mm. nuts. Wow. duke of ted some fly to my house i will put up uh the new the oh, we oh, drive oh, over oh, to oh, dallas oh, and oh. it nick and sam's duke of ted no. said he'll put us up for free guys if you i'll, I'll fly in if we have a seventeen thousand dollar salt bay night yeah. <laughs> oh <laughs> then they would they spend they spent right seventeen thousand at salt bay Oh, sold by the restaurant, the guy that's like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. the surf, whatever it's called. I don't yeah. know that shit. Yeah, I see it. Tim, money trumps the law. America, yeah. That's, that's exactly right. the point. Exactly. The point. Because if you have so many lawyers, they can go through each line of everything that has ever been said and find something, and then the judges will be always super sympathetic. Oh, for sure. Also that's probably what, bribed. That's what you're paying them for, to like yeah. exploit... All of those women's testimonies to go through yeah. every single line of text and be like, okay, there's got to be wiggle room somewhere in here. Yeah, damn Perfect. it's. But on the lighter note, let's talk about JJ's watch. Oh. That's insane that he got like. What's the reference number on it, JJ? Uh, fifty nine sixty R. Fifty nine sixty R. Well, I mean P P, not R. Oh. So you said that it was ninety thousand brand new, and you got it for forty. It was uh, eighty-eight and change with tax. It was like ninety-seven thousand, pretty much, almost ninety-seven. What was the year of production on it? Do you know? Uh, I don't know the all the particular. Oh, my year was two thousand eight. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's discontinued now. I'm not sure how many years they made it. That's but, so um, wild. How how did it depreciate so much? Is it because it's a dress watch? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. That's it, one, and also the one color. Man's trash is one man's treasure, you know what I mean? You, you look at what's popular right now. It's people. You know what? Gold and black, and in some well, ways, I got the, the platinum with the with the rhodium dial. JJ, in, JJ, in some ways, you have to thank people like Timepiece Gentleman for making the value of that watch so low, because mm -hmm. those morons have been just hyping like Nautilus and. How, how much does an Aquanaut go for on, on the secondary? Like a. a Aquanaut? It's like yeah. 60 now. It yeah. was 40. Now it's 60. Oh, like a little bit of an older one, really? Still going for that much? Yeah. Oh, it's steel stupid. with a rubber strap. What? See, like, if it's the same brand, why would you? I don't know. I mean, in my mind, I would rather have an annual calendar chronograph <laughs> for in platinum for less than a steel Aquanaut on a rubber strap. There's one on a NATO. It I'll makes no sense mm. whatsoever. Um, well, how, how big is it? 40.5 so it's like a 40 mil watch 40 mil yeah basically that's insane wow. it's a heavy heavy uh it's heavy yeah yeah it's you know platinum it's, it's platinum yeah you know uh jj i told you that when when i was in barcelona we went hiking and there was a guy with a platinum daytona so hiking with a platinum. hiking up a mountain yeah Montserrat mountain that's wild you are so stupid, dude. <laughs> Platinum Daytona is so heavy. Uh, it's That's a super like cool watch. Oh, my God. It's it's a chronograph, too, man. I got an additional pad extra. <laughs> What's he talking about? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Listen, would would if you ask me, would you rather pay 60 for or even whatever, even 56 for an Aquanaut, or would you rather pay 46 for this? I mean, to me, it's a no-brainer. Obviously... Mm -hmm. I put my money where my mouth is, and you know, I bought what I thought was a better one. Uh, I, I love the. I usually put my mouth where my ass is, but right, right. we're different. Where's Birmingham? Do we need them? <laughs> we're different kinds of people. 
How right. much farther would that watch fall though? There's no way it would go below 40k, right? It's a platinum watch. Oh, I, I'm not selling it anyway, so to me it doesn't really matter. But I don't, I don't think it's going to fall at all. Honestly, I think, you know, everything is like a fucking wave right now. It's just, you know, pay sixty thousand for a steel sports watch with a rubber strap okay. because that's that's what's in style. But I mean, I'm not platinum. paying double. I'm not paying double retail. You know, for a sports paddock when they're known for their complications, I'm buying what they're known for. You know what I mean? Did you sell off anything to get it, or you just added it? Um. Well, the thing is, I jumped on it quick because uh, it was oh, a pretty okay. good deal. Yeah. I I pretty much uh, I got it. I was behind one other guy. He was just waiting for him to respond, but the other guy wanted uh-huh. to do a trade, and he didn't really want to. So you did a swoop, up. Reno. Nice. So you keeping mm-hmm. everything? Is it like? entire collection you're keeping or are you just no no i'm still selling some of the uh i'm trying to sell off some of the uh, omegas i'm gonna sell my two to gmt just to lighten the load i have 14 watches i want to get down to eight so oh, I, yeah. I don't really want to sell any of my rolex right Prepare now for that louis vuitton box right if i sell them all i'll buy it. Louis vuitton box if i sell if i get down to eight i'll buy the box damn dude <laughs> that's yes. cool. that's next level i was looking at the roll the other day i was like i might add that to the louis vuitton, vuitton roll mm-hmm. Yeah, it just pisses me off because there's no divider for it. It's yeah. Kind of, you're just Stay getting away. Louis Vuitton. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So, mm. Yeah. You know what I would be trying to get? Mm. Uh, this Rolex watch roll that I got, I would try to get one on the gray market. Saw that. Yeah. If they ever sell me that Oyster Perpetual, I might ask for one. This thing is incredible. I got to be honest. This is the best watch roll that money can buy if you can get this i i look i, I would even pay if if i if i didn't get it from my dealer i would pay 400 dollars for this easily because of look how compact that is yeah so look at this so you open it up it's got these flaps okay. and inside you just put your watch it's, it's kind of like pretty cool yeah look at this see yeah, yeah. very compact i'm still waiting on bosphorus though I need to pick up one of those. Okay. But that looks cool, though. That does look cool. Look how compact that is. I know. It does probably look better. I like that. It's Rolex. Mm. This is this is the way to go. I I, I got to be honest. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, much, it. it's much more minimalist, your style. Yeah. I got to say one thing. The Bosphorus ones are great. Don't get me wrong. They're built like tanks, but they're a little large. Yeah. Mm. Tim, mm. do you still have yours or you sold it? No, no. I have it. It's right here. Mm. Tim wanted that so bad. Now he, now he, just, <laughs> now he doesn't even. Now he just you know, I it thought away. it would bring in the super chats if I if I open it up to get some. Oh, chats, was that the motive behind it? Yeah, but you haven't pulled it out in a while. People probably forgot about it. Hey, quick update, guys. Look, I'll bring it out if people super chat me two bucks. <laughs> I need to pay I, back. For it. I went, I went cologne shopping the other day. Or like oh, last week. I had a chance to smell all the big hitters. First of all, I smelled Sauvage, very. Like boring scent. I know you what? guys like it, but it's very just like it it's smells lemon. Like it's scent. it's like a citrus tree. It's a blue fragrance. It's very popular right now. I it's get a popular lemon. fragrance. Yeah. It's, like I don't know what I was expecting. Yeah, but it's, everything it's smells like that, right? Yeah. I, I know what you mean. Yeah, it's a very like popular scent. So I think maybe I've smelled it before. That's probably what it was. Um, <laughs> this is so good. By the way, my, that that watch roll just got roasted. Yeah, yeah flaps look like roast beef sandwich. Looks like a clutch. <laughs> like it's, a pur- it's his watch purse. I was gonna look, say, yeah, it's my watch purse. Like, yeah, you know, it goes cool. it goes well with my feminine side. You can put it in your Birkin. Oh, 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 actually, look, actually, speaking of, let me show you something. All right, show oh, me. Oh no. Also, JJ, I smelled Creed finally. The Ventus and the Green Irish Green Irish Tweed. Yeah. I don't know why. To me, it smells like uh, garden clippings. Like you're working out in the garden. I got like green yeah. Irish tweed. Yeah, both of yeah. them. I don't know what it was. I got lifts of both. Okay, mm. guys. If you thought that uh, that uh, that looked like a woman's uh, clutch purse, then this thing's got to be like the manliest thing you can, you can get. And look at this. Are you wearing pajama bottoms, Tim? Huge. <laughs> He's got his jammies on. It's huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been outside. No, it's today? my shorts. Okay. Uh, okay. Nice. And we're seeing Tim's belly and thigh. Nice. Real stream today, boy. Going Archie style. Now you just need to put a long sleeve button up on. Wait, how am I going to sell this now? I, I'm. <laughs> how, many, how many is it? Is it four? It's a four piece? Four piece. 
Damn. It's a cod piece Four. roll. I need a duo. Four Look piece cod. Cut it in half. Sell it. I know, right? nice. It's, it's really half. good. It's amazing. It's just yeah. I don't have the money. I can't keep everything. I'm trying to... I, I'm trying to expand my YouTube channel. So uh, there's a few things that I have to buy for, for my for my f film stuff, for editing, and just I have expenses. I have a lens. I need to buy two more lenses. <sighs> I'm super depressed. Problems, problems, problems. <laughs> Guys, I don't mean to cut you short. I want to do this professionally, okay? I do have to uh, cut out. I just wanted to come on and say hello. I got some stuff to do over here. Hey, JJ. <laughs> <laughs> I went on Tim's fun. stream all day, and then I went yeah. on Archie's stream, and now I'm back on Tim's stream. It's like <laughs> never in the circle. Like and it. then we'll go on to Archie's stream again. If I stream anymore, I'm going to turn into a salmon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, JJ, take care. All right, guys, take care. Have a good night. Good night, everybody. Oh, and being that I'm here, after the stream, guys, if you get a chance, go check out my newest Where is the Timepiece Gentleman video. I made one too. Everyone else is doing it. Where's I need Waldo? To, I need to get my views up so I get more subscribers, guys. I'm trying to get to a thousand. You guys are the best. I know if anyone could push me through, you guys could do it. So mm. that's all. Mm. All right. Have a good night, gentlemen. Care. Carry on. Carry on. See you guys. Bye. Take care. Damn, what a watch. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. That's pretty that's a pretty nuts watch. Amazing. It's a true gentleman's watch. It's a pretty good deal in terms of like buying for Paddock because mm. how much I, I don't remember how much Alex told me he paid for his uh, Calatrava. I think he said he paid twenty six or twenty seven or something. Yeah, like that. something around that. Yep. So when you think about it, for what an extra thirteen, fourteen grand, you're getting a platinum multi-functional Paddock. That's a contemporary yeah. size, forty mil. Yeah, that's pretty. It's a pretty sweet deal. Yeah, it's a, it's a, an amazing deal. I mean those. Those, those are this is like an almost grand complication, is it? I think it considers as a grand complication with all those a chronograph annual. annual it's crazy. Chronograph. Mm. Pressure. Tommy, test. please, guys, remember to upvote, subscribe, and check out my membership program for your entrance into Discord and my WhatsApp. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Discord is at the four dollars, and the WhatsApp is at ten dollar membership level. Check it out, guys. It helps pay the bills. I mean, if I if I can grow the show a little bit bigger, a little side hustle, man, I would I would freaking uh, I would freaking fly to Dallas myself and go go check it out. Do a live stream straight from up. the hallway. <laughs> I'll, I'll show up, dude. That'd be tight. Yeah, <laughs> I'm down timepiece show. It'd be awesome. Love it, dude. I'd be the cameraman. Mm. Um, <laughs> I'll just nice. be the cameraman. Dude. Nice. <laughs> oh. Oh, and look at this. We reversed. Lolex is no beard, and I oh, have yeah. beard. What the? Yeah, I'm trying to. I like messed it up. Beards are tricky. They're like a bonsai tree. You got to trim it. You got to shape it and style it. It sucks, dude. So I shaved it. Damn. I'm going back. Large and in charge. And Damn. Just... Yeah, it's. Uh, I, I've got to say, I'm not loving this this whole beard situation. Be my, my beard looks like garbage too. <laughs> I look like a homeless guy that was punched in the face. Oh my god. I could grow a decent beard if I like. Take time with it. Mm. I can I can do a thick one, but just mm. gotta take some time. Mm. Dude, how was Theo and Harris? I was so shocked when I saw him pop him on the stream. Yeah, I was actually it was me who convinced him to come onto the show. Shout out, you didn't really? Yeah, yeah. On the Instagram, I messaged him. I I had a conversation with him like a day prior. Okay. And then I messaged him and I said like, hey. Look at this. We got Oshin from Timeless Watch Channel. We're talking about this whole uh, uh, timepiece gentleman debacle. If you got time, come on, join us. And he, came, I sent him the link. I was like, here, here's the link. Uh, Dude, that's. Yeah, so I thought Bear did all that. That's why I was like, all right, I got to give it up to the fucking old man. Was able to uh, Theo and Harris. But that's crazy. You got Theo and Harris on the street. Yeah, it was so I, I, shocking, man. Dude, I, I, admit, I'm a fan of his. I like his YouTube videos. Yeah, no, he's good. He's good. Great, great production in all of his mm. videos. So mm. cool. So that's awesome, Tim. You should get him on here sometime. That'd be pretty mm. cool. Yeah, he is. A, he is a absolute sweetheart. I mean, like he does business really well. He's a very ethical guy. Mm -hmm. uh, he truly loves watches. Yeah, and uh, he wants more people to be interested in watches. And the the reason, like, according, like his ideology is that a lot of people. Do not like watches because they just don't connect with the personalities 
that mm-hmm. uh, advertise like these these brands. They advertise, you know, they get like Tudor, they got David Beckham, and like, people. <sighs> yeah, who cares? Right? Who, who cares? Yeah, yeah people cares. people don't buy. People buy watches because they see it like in movies or on the wrist of like normal people. Yeah, uh, and it's just <sighs> no. I- yeah, I like Theo and Harris because he sells the non-hype Rolexes. Like he'll show like old Oyster Perpetual and Date Just from like the '80s and '70s and stuff like that. Mm. And uh, yeah, he rocks those older watches, like the ones that um, Drew bought. Ah, like yeah. those, I thought I always thought those were cool. I was like, yeah, if they made a modern version of them. I would for sure buy them. But yeah. I just always liked his style in them. Oh, opinion. and Shane says saved over one hundred dollars on Aventus with Tim's code on Discord. Worth the membership. That's right, guys. Yeah. Hold on, Aventus smelled smelled the Creed line. Yes, in our street, Aventus did not like him at all. Thank God, yeah, I, didn't by. I did not like him at all. Why didn't you like everybody? Okay, they just to me, just from smelling them, it yes. smelled like uh, lawn clippings, like leaves. The, you're talking about that's the green Irish tweet. Green Irish tweet for sure, and then the it, Aventist kind of—I just didn't like the smell. Aven- uh, well, Green Irish tweet just for people who don't know, it do- it smell it does smell like super green, green grass. Green. It's uh, it's that's I'm what sure it's called Green sure. Irish tweet. It's almost like you're in the forest, in like I'm a sure green you, moss it forest. Skin, it changes sense, right? Like yes, throughout the day, it'll change sense. But yes. just that initial thing I, that hit me, I was like, yeah, that is not my smell like at all. No way. I mean, you you were using that polo green, yeah, which is weird. It smells nothing like polo green to me for some yeah. reason. Yeah, <laughs> it, it smells like a cheaper version of that. I yeah, <laughs> yes, exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's just... 100 cheaper version of that, but just yeah. different at the same time. And um, uh, Aventus. Now, a lot of people they hear the name Aventus, but they don't really they don't know what to expect. Like, what does the best fragrance ever smells yeah. like? And when you try it, it's a it's a pineapple. Yeah, it smells like fresh apple pineapple. I, I, I wrote them down, but mm. I tried a lot of the Tom Fords, and those were some, like, Ooh. really interesting scents. There was a tobacco and vanilla one that I really liked. Tobacco vanilla? Yeah, that's what it was. I was like, this is a cool scent. I was, like, kind of into it. I didn't, per- wow. I didn't pull the trigger on any of them. I'm going to wow. get – it's hard for me because my, my Chanel de the Blue is yeah. – I got the huge bottle, and it's so big. Yeah. Blue right. oh. Chanel is good. You you don't need the awesome. Sauvage to go with it. You know what? Uh, you need to try Explorer, Mont Blanc Explorer, because it's an Aventus clone, but it's a high quality clone. And we got the captain joining us. Hello, yeah. what's captain. up, Captain? Do you zero six? Unbelievable. Yeah, I haven't worn it in a while. In like <laughs> a while. I need to get some water, guys. Hold on. It's too it's too hot. It's too hot out, man. Tim, you can't wear that watch with that strap. Hey, Captain, how are you doing? Can you hear me? Yes. H- how are you liking the show? The 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 the. Are you are you how are you liking the content? The the disappearance of the timepiece, gentlemen. Um, I gotta catch up. I got <laughs> I gotta watch your stream. How long did you guys go last night? Three I, hours I was, and a half. I was work. I, I got. I've been getting crushed. So. Uh, ah, okay. Sorry, I couldn't you know, jump on, but you had, you had a full panel and you had Oshin. So that was, that was good. Didn't you have a show last night? Yes. Uh, no, no, no. We did the JJ. I did a pre-show and then JJ did after show. Oh my God. So you guys went, went crazy on this, uh, breaking news, man. You guys, yeah. holy moly. I see this going all over the, uh, YouTube now videos, articles, everything's happening with this. Everyone's so talking about much it. speculation. So yeah. much speculation, and you guys. Uh, oh, we lost. You lost the audio. <laughs> back. Yes, working edge sharpening. Oh, I love that uh, <laughs> icon. Uh, Lolex room, like my mom's living room. <laughs> uh, Lolex. How dare you? Are you serious, <laughs> man? That's all the shit. No, just kidding. Yeah, it's a little much. It, the problem is, I let my mom go nuts, so she like bought that. And then she bought like this, which is this. I don't know what that is. She's like, you put your mail on it and your keys and stuff. I'm like, I'm never gonna use this. But it was a gift, so I took it. There's there a go. mirror there. It's and she did this. Like, what is this? A fake plant? Oh, is it a fake or is that real? No, it's, uh, yeah, there's no way this would be. <laughs> that would be, it wouldn't be green. Yeah, and then, like uh, a mirror that I can't even 
it's too tall for me, so I can't see myself. Uh, it's, so. it's actually, it got, that, that mirror looks like a reflection. So it should reflect your clock. It looks very yeah. similar to your clock. I, I think wow. that's why she bought it. It was like a, it was a bundle set at home. Nice. But uh, yeah, mom Lolex went all out for me. Uh, never give your mom the credit card, Ethan. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. Good yeah. furniture, though. Yeah. Uh, I mean, dude, I, if it was up to me, it would just literally be a big screen TV and then a couple lawn chairs in here. <laughs> so, Paul Contreras. Oh, Jay yeah, Sykes, right, the watch right, 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 glasses. Man, yes. Everybody. My work attire. I got to undo the button. Mm -hmm. You're right, man. Watch mm -hmm. glasses. Look at that. Hey, Tim, I have a. I, I know that we're going to need Perth for this one. I have a whiskey question. I'm confused. Ooh. Generally, at my liquor store, they have the Belveni. Belveni? It's some okay. some Scottish. Oh, you know, know Belve Belveni? Belveni, that, right? Belveni by, by the way, uh, in Korea, yeah. Belveni, they buy that for a wedding. Okay. It's supposed to be, like, especially Belveni 18, supposed to be, like, super, super good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they have, uh, like, but, a 15, an 18, look like yeah. double barrel with uh, a yeah. sherry cask. Yeah, so I, you know, Belvin, you should be really good because I, I just, so. I, the, the only way I know Belvini is that because it's in. Uh, what happened was when I was there last time, uh, we were talking. I, I bought like Johnny Walker Black because I, I want, you know, I was. We were just <sighs> spending too much time indoors. Was like, ah, you know what? Let me get something to, to drink, <laughs> and and the the husband of my. Sist of my wife's sister, I don't know what that makes him, but he oh, pulled uh, out Belvini, oh, Belvini eighteen, okay, that they bought when when he got married. And he didn't oh he didn't open it, but he just showed me like oh look we we have a whiskey in the house, okay. <laughs> yeah. But they got married like twenty years ago, and that was an eighteen year old scotch. So that's like a. I was like, dude, like that's gonna go bad. Uh, I I don't know how long these things can last, but I don't know either. How In the bottle, I don't know. That's a great question because you're not, you know, it doesn't age. It's 18 years. That's it. Yeah. It's not like you keep it for 10. Oh, it's 28. No. Yeah. <laughs> and it can only go bad. Like it can't get better. Um, I... But isn't question. it if you keep it in the bottle, it stays? Like if you never open it? It depends on the cork. If the cork fails, that that could be a problem. You see, that guys, I didn't want to open the Johnny Walker Blue, but you guys pushed me. So I now you have to drink it now. Yeah. Pour some. Pour, pour yourself a shot. Did you like it compared to your uh, 18? Um, I think, I'll be honest, I haven't opened the 18 yet, so I've only McCall compared 18 to the 12, right? Okay. In terms okay. Of well, it's going to be better. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah. You it's can't. The, the blue is way smoother, in my opinion, than the, than the 12. The 12 oh, wow. is very harsh. It hits you hard. But I'll do a little blue right now. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little, a little bit, you know. You know, Tim, you're, you're, uh, little by little, everyone's drinking just a little bit more than they used to before the stream. Before they, before <laughs> this, would, this would have stayed. It's been good in a good way. No yeah, way. you know, life is short. That's right. You have That's to right. enjoy. Something. Exactly. You know, even, even I picked up a, a oh. bottle of uh, Talisker Storm. Oh, that's the storm, right? Right. Yeah, right. that's the yeah, super first, smoky first stuff. Talking about the Talus sticker. Talus yeah, I, I he like, loves that brand. Yeah, oh, right. he's Rainbow absolutely. Right. They didn't have the storm where I went. They had the ten year, and I don't know. You know, I don't know if that's the one to get. Probably not. Might the be. storm is not the one to get. The, uh, get the ten. You think? Yeah. Well, yeah. because the storm is so smoky. If you like the smokiness and strength. Of the storm. This is why it's called the storm. <laughs> the strength of the ocean. <laughs> I think the dark uh, Jeremy Fragrance says happening, that. What's happening right now to TPG, the dark storm. Yes. The storm. Are you, do you want to feel the storm in your mouth and face? Get the Talisker storm. It tastes like drinking storm. I, I, it's a perfect name for it. Very Dude, loud. Boys. Cheers, Lolex. Cheers. Cheers, Lolex. Oh, man, it smells so good. You know, <laughs> yeah, it's like when you said it's like you're wearing an ashtray. Was that a cologne or was that a, uh, a no, that, liquor? I don't, that I don't was know some liquor. That. Yeah, that, they were talking about a liquor that, that Ooh, tastes me? like ashtray. Who? Me or someone else? No, 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 no. no, no. Like not, 
put it around you and like jump. Oh, art bag, I think it was. Yes, yeah, that is so delicious. <laughs> yeah. I the, I gotta tell you, this is this probably the smoothest whiskey I've ever tasted. <laughs> it's probably Johnny blue. blue. The blue is so good, and to be honest with you, I kind of like the gold too. I think yeah. in terms of just a price point, it's like good bang for buck. Keep in mind, I, I'm not a Scotch mm. expert by any means. I'm just mm. going off taste here right now. Well, uh, R.E.G. Yeah, raves about the gold. He says it's just like candy. It's a Scotch candy. God damn, it's the gold. gold. I think uh, <coughs> I need to get myself some gold because I have I have two Taliskers now, a ten and uh, and the Storm, but. Uh, I'm afraid to open the 10 just right at this moment because it's going to be just as violent as that. Well, not as violent, but this thing is... Yeah, that's, that's why, man. I'm looking for those sherry cask, you know, little, little, uh, a little calmer, a little smoother with the sherry cask. Mm. Yeah. This is not it. This is... <laughs> not it. If, yeah. if you want... This tastes like... If you're like you're on the ship, and you're going through uh, a hurricane, <laughs> the perfect storm. You guys, ever yeah, seen that movie, yeah, yeah. It's one of my favorite. That's one of my favorite movie, man. He, he goes, "Why are we going to?" I think it was called uh, something. Cap. They were they were they were sailing or not sailing, boating or whatever, steaming towards the. Uh, oh, I forgot the name of it. And he's like, mm. "Why are we going there?" It was Mark Wahlberg he, and. Uh, George Clooney, his character said, because that's where the fish are. <laughs> that was a crazy movie, man. That was crazy. Yeah. That's a, that's like one of those movies like Armageddon. They just reminds me of like early 2000s blockbusters that you don't see anymore. Yeah. Oh, guys, are you, are you, are you guys going to watch The Tomorrow War? That looks... Oh, the Chris Pratt one? Yeah, that looks fun. Yeah, it looks fun. I don't know. It looks cheesy, but... Yeah. I haven't been to the movies in forever. I'm excited. I really liked The Edge of Tomorrow. I thought that was yeah. amazing. Yeah. Out of all, The Edge of Tomorrow, guys. It's where Is that the Tom Cruise movie? Yes. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, Frank beats him. I think you will like Lefroy. Uh, actually, uh, I will be getting Lefroy sometime in the near future because. Uh, Conrad, he said I should get Lafroy or Art Bag, and I got the Art Bag. So I tried the Art Bag. Now I need to try the Lafroy. Shane, if you want smoky and smooth, oh, look for Dalween 15. Not expensive. Grabbed a few extra bottles recently. Wow. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh, and Jay Sykes, what is your go to whiskey between $100 and $200? Ooh. It would have to be Macallan 15, I guess. Yeah, I was going to say, I got a, Macallan 12 in general, that's like 90 bucks. Yeah. yeah. So nothing. But Didn't between 100 200 you go for 15 you can't go wrong. I mean, but it's, it, it is a little bit overpriced, uh, I would say. Get a Macallan 12 or even the Johnny Walker Gold. Pretty good value. No, we, 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 we do need a whiskey expert to tell us about this because there's a lot of good stuff in that price range. A lot of super high-quality stuff. Yeah. Because like McAllen it, it is it, McAllen and Johnny Walker, it's like an amateur choices in that yeah. price range. You know, like idiots who don't know what to get, it's better to get those. It's literally sitting right in my screen right now. Like if you're <laughs> a dummy, dumb, dumb idiot, yeah. that's kind of what you spend yeah. your money on. I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. only stupid morons would buy that. It's just like right here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, definitely. Cool. Respect you know, you know what's good. Like I, I, I really was shocked by Jack Daniel's single cask. Okay, it's such a great quality drop, and it's dirt cheap. I like Fireball. So oh, like Fireball! Yeah, you do? You like that? Yeah, I love Fireball. That's, That's so good. Like shot, you do shots of Fireball. Whoa! Yeah, not even. I sip on Fireball. If I see it somewhere, like if I'm out, okay, and I see it, I'll like. like oh. It's very spicy. I, I, uh, I don't know. It's got Fireballs and Coke, love it. And I'm talking about the soda, guys. Wow. wow. Oh, oh, I thought you meant like <laughs> what <laughs> Alex morning <laughs> Coke and drink a Fireball. It's a paddock, uh, this paddock watch thing for when you open that little thing. That's the Coke holder. Hell yeah. <laughs> so you keep the cocaine. They said Glenn, they were telling. Not Reinhard that Alex does that. It's just. 
Yeah. Reinhard Lampano, Glenn Fittick 18 is 120. And let me tell you, it's good stuff. Yeah, 18 for 120. That's that's really good price. Damn, I, I want to add Shane, uh, I think, asked in the chat. He asked mm -hmm. how much I wear this Black Bay Fittick. Oh, all the time. Exactly. Because <laughs> he said, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about getting rid of mine. He loves it. Yeah. I'm about getting rid of it. I'm like, you know what? I'd love to have less watches, but. I can't mm. let this go. I wear it all, all the time. It's just so, it's just so easy. Wind and wear, boom. Mm. No date. I swim with it. I, I gotta keep it. I, I just have to keep it. Mm. Seven River says, moved away from bourbon, selling all my unopened. I like Scotch and Irish whiskey more. Wow. Mm. And Shane says. Uh, oh, uh, yes, Frank. Blanton's bourbon is what I suggest to everyone. Blanton's. Cool. Cool. Okay, guys. Uh, the reason I'm here, actually, is because I wanted to talk about these four watches. Now, this is like a only watch 2021. It's a, it's a kind of a charity uh, situation. And this charity asks... Uh, these watch manufacturers to make a, a one-off piece that they will then auction for for charity. Mm -hmm. And so this year we got like five, I think there's five watches. There's also a paddock. Wait, but where are these coming from though? Huh? Who's, selling, who's selling these? These are going to be for auction. From who though? Like, are they from a private uh, deal? It's, no, no, no. It's auctioned at Only Watch. It's called okay. Only Watch. Uh, okay. It's an auction for, for charity, for some kind of a situation. Mm, okay. But we got like five watches, four are wrist watches. So there's an F.P. Bjorn, this fist F.P. Bjorn, which is absolutely ridiculous. When, when I tell you how it works, it's going to blow your freaking mind. Ridiculous. Mind. Yeah, you're yeah. going to have to hold your hat because when your head explodes... You will not find your hat ever again, uh, Lolex. Okay. Okay. Then there's uh, a Tudor. Look at this Tudor GMT. Yeah. What's that made of? Now, that's a really good question. I'm going to show you. There's some, it's some kind of a super weathered uh, steel. Okay. But there is a clue for, what, for what's upcoming because this could be, this could be the future of the of the coke coke could be coming next year this could be a, like a like a preview then we got the ap202 some kind of i guess this is a limited edition dial situation these are all one offs and the breggy type 20 and there's also a paddock uh that's like a table clock we'll talk about the table clock at the end i wanted to bring up this fp joint because just guys, don't 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 read the article. Just try try to tell try to guess how does one read time? What time is it? <laughs> tell me what time is it? If you had to guess. Just think noon. about it. Don't rush. I'm gonna go with noon. It's noon is like uh Okay. It's it's probably true, but why? It's just pointing up. I don't know. Okay. So you think wherever the hand is pointing, yeah, that's what I always That's the time, right? That's the hand because there's no hands. And what about this triangle? Does this triangle go in circle, yeah. goes around? Yeah. So I would assume that the hand is the hour mm -hmm. marker and then that triangle is the minutes, right? Yes. Is that's that it? what I thought. Oh, okay. Yeah. Captain, do you have any guesses? I can't see. I, you know, it's hard to tell. I'm on a phone. Ah. Uh, Okay. But I mean, yeah, the middle, it's like giving you the middle finger, man. Could that be like the hour hand, the middle finger of the hand? Mm -hmm. I can't see the, uh, what are you talking about for the hour, for the minutes? Yeah. So, so what is the hours and what is minutes? Well, I guess 12 would be the hour, but I don't see anything on minutes. But again, I'm looking at a real small diagram yeah. here. I would say, I don't know, man. I, it's crazy. It's nuts. It's, it's absolutely not, freaking it, out of this world. When I, when that, I, I don't even, I don't know what I think of this piece, but you're going to tell me it's worth a million dollars. I mean, it's going to be worth, I don't know how much, but all of that money will go to charity anyway. So. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good. 
Yeah, and it's only there's only one of these that exists. So either way, it's oh, really? no, none of us, no one will ever have this. So. I I wouldn't actually probably I would not even probably I, I don't think I'd want this, but yeah, uh, it's okay. It's a very interesting mechanism. I got to tell you. So okay. let let me show you something. So tell us. So this triangle shows the minutes. Now the now the hand is an hour indicator. Now to know the hour, you actually have to memorize it because. Over time, this hand changes, and depending on the position, oh my god, oh, this <laughs> that's insane. So, as the hand goes around, god. it changes fingers. So, <laughs> this would be one o'clock, two o'clock, three, four. So, what we saw was five o'clock, okay, and then we go to six, there's no fingers, and then seven. That's pretty cool, eight. I'm not gonna lie. It's it's FP incredible. Jorn. Is it FP Jorn? This is FP Jorn, yeah. Yeah. And what's the minute marker again? And, and the minute marker is where it's pointing. So as it goes around, it would change the position. Incredible. It's it's mind melting technology. Wait, I, what finger is showing the minute marker though? Is it whatever? Yes. So 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 where wherever this hand is pointing. It's uh -huh. pointing at the minute marker, but then what the how many fingers it shows? That's the hour. That's how that's many hours. Hour. But yes. I don't understand. Like for ten, where would the minute marker be? Oh, well, it would be in this general direction because there is a triangle still at the, the time. Triangle, oh, the triangle is in yeah. fact the minute. Yeah. The minute okay. Interesting for sure. It's I have I, I can't even believe like how they how they did it. It's just so incredible. Why even think to do it? It's yeah, one of a kind it, for sure. Yeah, it's it, it wouldn't work unless it's a one of a kind. That's oh, for sure. that's why you do it. And then, but look, you look at something like this, and uh, th this is what makes you understand because, like, uh, Louis Vuitton released like a watch that has some kind of a, a trickery inside, a kind of a playful thing, and they wanted like three million for it or something like this. So and there, that watch looked look really bad, really bad. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying, like, dude, if you're going to be selling watches for $3 million, why not do something like this? This is actually wearable and usable. Like, I can, uh, someone could actually get used to this and wear it as their daily driver. Mm. Like, it's possible. I can see someone doing it, some weird, funky guy. Now, does it change that, that hand position on the hour? So in other words, is it gradual or is it every hour, like on the hour, when you go, let's say, from 12 uh, to 1, does yeah. the hand go from, and I'm, I'm making this up, like this yeah. to like this? Yeah. Or, I don't know. Or this? It would be, it's an interesting question. Let's see what it Because it has the positions of 12 positions. Yeah. It's probably each hour, it's going to automatically like click over to the next position. Mm. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see what it is say. I still can't figure out the minutes, but you're telling me that it's going to be moving. Yeah, so around. Oh, the triangle. There's a triangle that goes around, and that's Look, the minute. Okay. I guess you see it more on here. I can't see the triangle, but that's yeah. me. Oh, it's a it's a triangle that's pointing at sixty right now. Can you see it? Sixty. Hold on. Uh, should I get my loop out, Tim? <laughs> <laughs> is this really that small? What happens? No. Yeah. He's there we, there oh. we go. Got it. Yeah, there it is. He Six. sees the light. See, I can't see shit. I'm blind, man. With contacts, I need these. Um, yeah. Oh, my God, really? I know. Well, hey. 60. Yep, I see it. That blue triangle. So that blue goes around. Okay, I got it. So as this triangle goes around, the hand moves with it. Yep. Right? The hand will be pointing in a different position. And then, uh -huh. yeah. I don't it, know. Do you want a hand on your watch? <laughs> It depends. If you have a family crest that yeah. has a fist on it, then I wouldn't mind. But a family crest. I, rich people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Only, only super, super rich, rich fikers. So I, I mean. It's a, it's an interesting concept, and on this is as I said, this is a kind of thing that can only work as a one-off 
uh, piece. I don't see them selling uh, tons of these if this was a functional thing. But making it so exclusive that it's it's limited to one piece. Whoa, that's only one piece? <laughs> one okay. piece, well, yeah. Okay, that changes the game a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> what does it sell for? What, what does it sell for? We don't know. It's gonna oh, be. No, no, it's gonna be. It's gonna be a charity auction. It sells mm -hmm. for a charity auction. Interesting. Okay, what else yeah. is on the what else is on the lineup? So this was the first thing, right? Okay. Now let's move on to the second. This was the most interesting piece out of them all. I thought this was just like magical stuff. Um uh, so the to buy this. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then let's take a look at the, this. So this is just uh fifteen two oh two. Yeah, what's unique about it? Now, what's unique about it is I think that it's sandblasted. Mm. Uh, that's what's unique about it. Uh, let me see. So modded fi 15202, pretty much? Yeah. It's a one-off modded. Let's see. What do they say? Once again, this year, the watch industry... Uh, da, 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 this year is the ninth edition of biannual charity. This is they're just talking about charity. Mm -hmm. And now here, as we're talking about unprecedented take on... It's Star Watch, as well as the last unique 15202 powered by the Caliber 2121, which will retire at the end of the year, made of titanium and the new palladium-based alloy. Meet the unique Automars PK. Oh, okay. So it's a titanium and the palladium. So it's made out of a completely new material. So it, it's just shaped exactly like the previous model, but it's a new new type of material palladium now i uh, isn't uh, what, what other watch there's another watch that's made out of palladium what is palladium i don't even know what that is right that's a it's, uh, a, it's a metal one. like close to i don't know if it's close to platinum but i always hear mm -hmm. platinum mm -hmm. and palladium kind of together is kind of higher end metals over gold so you got silver gold that like Platinum, palladium, or palladium, platinum. I'm not sure which. Okay. <clears throat> so what's unique Don't about know what this it watch? Is. No, no idea what it is, by the way. Yeah. The 39 by 8.1 millimeter case is identical to all other 15202s, right? So the shape of this watch is the same. Okay. Now, the material and the way they finished it are, on the other hand, unprecedented. And not only for this model, but AP in general, the central case and the bracelet here are made of sandblasted titanium with a typical dark gray color resulting from this finish contrasting with the polishing chamfers. The true novelty is seen on the bezel and studs of the bracelet made of bulk metallic glass. Oh. What the? Ah, yeah, the metallic yeah, yeah. glass, metallic a glass. palladium based alloy used in micro electronics. Wait, so, wow. so so the glass on it is a is like a tinted glass, right? No, no, no. There the bezel, the whole oh, bezel. Yeah, bezel. Yeah. It's made oh, out of yeah. different material. It's this is that's yeah. what the palladium where palladium comes in play. Okay, interesting. Wow. I have a friend that has a fifteen two oh two and that's his only watch. Can you believe that? Wow. <laughs> yes, yeah, I, I no. don't think he's into watches because I don't think anyone would buy this as their only watch, right? No. Yeah. No way. Yeah, the fifteen, yeah. fifteen three hundred four hundred five. They're thin enough. I mean, they're delicate enough, in my opinion, that uh, they barely qualify as a sport watch. But like mm. crazy, it's so you go thinner at a fifteen two hundred two. What's up? Yeah, yeah. I, I can't see it as a one watch. It's beautiful. I mean, it's a nice piece to have. Oh, if you got one. Yeah. That's his. That's his watch. His nice but one. He probably yeah. He needs. It'd be nice if he had a second like a. a "Quote unquote beater or something, you know? I don't think mm. he wears. Well, I think his beater is like an Apple Watch. <laughs> no, it's, I it's not bad. Okay. I know exactly. I'm like, I think you wear it a lot. Yeah, I've I've seen him here and there. We went to high school together, and we live in the same area. Yeah, mm. uh, I saw him. I saw him coming back from Disneyland because I was in Anaheim, and he was wearing it. I was like, "Is that an AP?" And he was like, "Yeah, I got this when I graduated law school." And I was like. Uh, okay, dude. <laughs> like, wow. He did, did seem like he knew. I, I'm pretty sure it was a gift, to be honest. Wow. With you. It's the money. Yeah. yeah. Um, Hell of a gift. Still, I was like, oh, whoa, dude, that's a heavy hitter to just be yeah. walking around with. Oof. Still very cool. 
I mean, at the same time, it's a heavy hitter for uh, I think people in the know. I mean, some people will know that it's uh, obviously that it's a pat. It will look like a paddock, mm -hmm. but I think eh, it's still kind of relatively undercover. I think should be. Oh yeah, I mean, it's definitely no one would take a second look at it. That's yeah, you know, not in the watches, but it was just he was driving, so his hand was on the wheel. Mm -hmm. wow. I up and I saw it, and I was like, "Holy shit!" And then it's on his Instagram too, so I see photos yeah. from time to time. But blue dial? No, no, the um, the white dial. Ooh, yeah, I like white the white. Wow. Got the white dial. That yeah, cool. crazy. A white dial, <laughs> like AP, <laughs> is his only watch. It still like blows. I don't know why. I always get blown out when I see people's one watches, and it's like an expensive watch, and it's not like the typical. Submariner, Speedmaster, things like that. I'm always just like, that's what you landed on, huh? That's crazy. <laughs> hey, that begs the question. If you sold all of your watches, your entire collection, and I think someone earlier on in the chat was asking, what's your, I forgot, like yeah. a grail, I guess, for lack of a better word. But one like, and done. You're one and done, but like you're high one and done. Like you sell everything. I'm just going to wear this. Yeah. Like your aspirational, I don't even know what you want to call it. Mm -hmm. F off piece, or I, you know, it's tough to say. I don't, it's that's hard because you can only wear one, right? For me, I think it would be the Daytona, Tim's Daytona, because mm. I like how thin it is. I would choose my sub, but it's a little too bulky for one mm. and done, in my opinion. Yeah, but if you, you could, you can go like anywhere you want with that. So, like, I think it's kind of like, all right, you choose the sub, but mm. like, what if you could have a fantasy one and done? Yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, a one and done is is hard because you wear it every day. I mean, I wear a watch every day when I leave the house. Yeah, I, yeah, I me too. Stuff on it every time I leave. So, one and done is so hard to me. I I could never get around the idea of a one and done. It's too much. But if I was going to do a one and done, I would probably choose a modern Daytona. Wow. I think because it it takes so many buttons. The only thing that holds me back on it is the polished center links. I wish it was a brushed bracelet. Mm. You know, I think like a yacht master uh, as a one and that like not not. I mean, I, it's just for me. It's a problem. I already fell in love with the watch, right? But a yacht master would a make a perfect master? one and done because it. You know how you, you said that the the you wouldn't be able to do it with the submariner because I could. I, I mean, I I am, but yeah, yeah go on. But. I feel like Yacht Master kind of fixes a lot of those problems. Yeah. Because uh, it, it's got, it's a much more pleasantly, a watch that wears a lot kind of cleaner mm -hmm. on the hand. Yeah. It just doesn't have all the, the sharp edges. It's a better ergonomic watch for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Soft edges. Yeah. That's why I think, like, oh, man. But man, it, Yacht Masters are cool. They are cool watches. Yeah. That platinum bezel is pretty sweet. And I love that rhodium dial with the blue hand. Mm. Man, that's cool. Oh. It's, it's, a, it's a very pretty watch. I've seen it in, in person a few times. And I've always been like, man, that's a hitter. Mm. You know what I don't like about these APs too? Is that yeah. the clasp, when you like undo it, it says, the clasp says AP in it. <laughs> Have you seen that? Yes. Yeah, I noticed a scratch on mine today. No! Not oh, scratch. are you serious? Yep. Like a little thing. Now, I'm not seeing it now, but... Before... I'm not shitting on it, Cap, because I'm now realizing that you do have that watch. No, I don't care. I, I was going to say, it's just so, like... There's no PC in watches, man. I'm tired of that shit, too. I mean, just because, some, just because someone owns a watch doesn't mean you have to lie to them and say, oh, I really love it. Yeah, not yeah. That you, not that you're going to say you hate it, but, like, you could say it diplomatically. Hey, not my first choice, you know, or mm. I'd go in another direction. You know, yeah. you don't have to. Like I would it. go another direction for sure. The AP is just a little not as cut out. Look, it's all over the place now. Now I'm yeah. almost like, all right, everyone has this damn thing. Yeah, but I do like it honestly. Today, I like, I just like the look. That's it. I mean, I, I, I yeah. like oh, the sure. octagon. So, yeah. I don't know. Um, uh, it's a classic piece. It's a, it's a classic yeah. piece. It, it also, it, it has a lot of horological significance, unlike the Aquanaut. Yeah, that's yes. No, that's no, true. sorry, Nautilus. Unlike the Nautilus, Nautilus is like the second one. Yeah, and then it goes crazy. Yeah, but the Nautilus yeah. is more. In the yes, that's, yeah, which is ridiculous. 
Would you ever throw it on leather, like do that conversion with the leather straps on it? Actually, it looks good. Yeah, I think it looks so yeah. cool with the leather straps. A black yeah. leather strap cap. Uh, pretty no, sweet. I'm not going to go there on this watch, man. You know why? Because for it's me, hard. For me, the way the way the case has that slant in the in mm. the uh, in the bezel, like in the right yeah. it slants in the integrated bracelet. Yeah, I don't know, man. For me, when you put those leather straps on something like that, yeah. and I know the offshore, uh, the VC overseas. I'm sorry, the rubber. They, yeah. Well, they do a rubber and they give you yeah. a leather rubber and yep. a bracelet. I love it on the bracelet most. Yeah, mm. you know, I don't know. It's just. <sighs> these interchangeable straps i mean it's it's just you got a speedy put it on anything yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, unfortunately like this watch is so fiddly like you would never be able to change the strap yourself maybe next oh, no, generation yeah, you, gotta, you gotta go yeah. somewhere to get that done yeah hello ari, ari. hey uh, what's going on, buddy? Ari. how Second much shot. we're going to we're moving on to the third watch <laughs> of these one-offs Let's see here. The Black Bay, baby. Mm. This is a one-off Black Bay GMT in the what weather. What material is this? Just tell me. So I'm sorry. Um, well, yeah. let's see. What, it, what, what, what are they saying? The matte black dial has a matte gray. Almost. Now, what's interesting is that uh, the GMT, it's a GMT master chronometer. This means the standard uh, movement has been upgraded and now comes with a master oh, wow. number certification as defined by Metas. As you can see, this one has the new black rotor. Okay. Now, what's Dakota, now? What is the case size of this watch? I hope it's forty-one mil. So it's not quite. Black Bay is black. What what size is Black Bay? Black Bay is like forty two, no? The tuna. I think it's forty two. I think That's so. That's what I thought. I think so. Or forty three? No, is it? I thought it was forty two or forty three even. Hmm. Now, what is the material? Uh, it says it's aged forty two stainless steel. Oh wait, someone uh, look. I'm getting three answers in the chat. Nobody knows. Mm. 41. Oh, some people say it's 41. 40, some people say it's but look 40. at that. Yeah, Seven Rivers 42. I mean, it's 41. quite possible that it's uh, it's the say it's basically like the Diet Pepsi just in the in a completely new case, a one-off case with an upgraded movement that could be coming next year. It's quite possible mm -hmm. that the next next year we're gonna get a Coke that will be uh, uh, same, you know, just regular Diet Pepsi size. But with the, a new upgraded movement and the open case back, because mm. that you you really want to see that movement. Oh yeah, yeah. beautiful, right? Yeah. Can cool. I pay extra for for not an op for not having a yeah case exactly. Case <laughs> yeah, yeah. Extra to close, close that. that please. Here's that for money. It's only a face a mother could love. Exactly. The brakes on my car look nicer than that. It's got a butter <laughs> face, honestly. Well, you know, th this this is why Rolex keeps their watches closed. Rolex yeah. will never have these Listen, windows. Well, I know what's they, going on. Under they there. don't. They don't yeah. have to show it to anybody. They know it's awesome. They don't yeah. need to show yeah. it to anyone. Reliability. Yeah. That's why I bought the watch. Yeah, true. No, but I I, th I think people who buy tutors, like the first buyers, they don't really know that it's not a good thing to yeah. see. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just for most people. I think it's it makes it easier to sell. Yeah. Everybody's doing it. It's like, oh, your watch doesn't have the open case back. What do you have to hide? <laughs> so uh, it's, I, I I get it why they're doing it. Then. If you were but, gonna buy, oh, uh, go on to. No, I'm just saying is that like, look, they're doing. They're not. These watches are not. I guess for 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 like uh, like look, it's Captain totally, is wearing his tutor yeah. as a beater. I mean, it, it's a it's a clearly a beater. Watch it's for kids in their 20s that are just yeah. graduating college getting their yeah. first nice watch. They either go Black Bay or they go Seamaster. I personally yeah. go Seamaster, but yeah. you know, still cool watches for sure. Yeah, it's a one off. It, there's only one of these guys, yeah. there's only one. That's so, pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I do so, like that. I like that GMT, yeah. and they did it just out of, just for charity, just to be cool. So, uh, you know what. Good job, good job, Tudor, on that little you know contribution. Not, not that many brands did anything. Look, AP did one, FB Joint did one, Tudor, 
uh, Bregge and Paddock. That's it. Nobody else volunteered. Mm. So just really quickly, we'll take a look at this okay. Bregge Type 20. I have no idea what's different about this watch. It mm. looks it's not a pretty watch. I'm sorry, guys. Yes. <laughs> the Bregge? Yeah. Yeah. It's probably the worst one of the yeah, bunch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's yeah. not like disgusting. It's not like it's my very, face is melting. Oh, kind of watch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that, that, I would say that's a good description too. Yeah. Yes. I would, I, yeah. You know, a watch like this is like twenty grand too, or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah something I mean, stupid. It, it's a kind of a watch uh, that works a lot, a lot like uh, like a roofie. You want to put somebody to sleep? You show them this watch and say, "Look at this. Look at my watch." And they go, oh, "It's about that watch." And then boom. Bill Co and then you Bill Cosby then. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, <laughs> looks like... A oh, floor. terrible. It's, it's terrible, big. Tim. That's terrible. It's, it's like a Cosby joke. Then? It's a joke, like guys. The watch, the watch is a rape drug. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> That's, That's not yeah, what I Cosby said. He doesn't buy pills anymore. He yeah. just shows Did reggae. Tim Cosby what the hell? Marco. Check out my watch. What the <laughs> hell, guys? Did his Marco get overturned? Of course, Marco is gorgeous. <laughs> okay. Well, Marco has no taste. Remember, he has a Pam. So, uh, yeah. Oh, Bazinga. <laughs> this is so funny. I don't know. But, yeah, to me, this does not sell, say Breguet. When I when I think of Breguet, I'm not thinking of this of this watch at all. But yeah, I know Marco, Bill Marco loves Marco. <laughs> what am I thinking? Bill Cosby. I'm not Bill thinking Cosby. Cosby. <laughs> This just took yeah, a dark hey, turn. Hey, I remember the Fat Albert days. So yeah. that's the Cosby that I want to remember. You know? I know. Yeah, yeah, well, I, want, I want to remember that too. Yeah. The needle hands. Marco's a big fan of of uh, the needle needle hands. Man, they put no the work pregnant. into this. Look at the the engraving yeah, on the, the back. They had engraving on the back. That literally looks like just like regular New Roman or whatever times. Yeah, they're yeah. being really lazy. Yeah, come unbelievable. On. It's, not very good. it's it's I mean, like okay. look at that. Look at that. Was that the steel? Is the steel bezel? You know what this looks like? Yeah. It looks like those weird one-off Brentling watches that they yes. Have. You know I'm what I mean? Saying, same thing. Yep. Brightling popped it, into my head, but I didn't. It looks like a Brightling weird chronograph that you. Yeah, never the, big, the big pushers sticking out on the right side, like elephant ears. Look at that mm. thing. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Needle hands can't stand. You know, I understand the uh, the bezel, the steel bezel on an Explorer too, but not on this. Mm. So have we ripped this? To shreds enough or should we uh, yeah this is yeah. awful <laughs> yeah it's not not great okay not now great. here is what paddock donated him this is just some Again, ridiculous what is this? thing it i'll looks take it looks like an annual calendar a, a oh. weekly annual calendar that would be honestly pretty sweet to have like in your house yeah like, yeah. like, like a paddock know. wall clock or something uh, like that yeah guess, you know what's guess, great about how much would wow clocks? you can actually like get a clock or like uh yeah like a desk clock like vacheron makes that one that carlos and chrono has which is really yes. cool you get a pocket watch so you don't actually have to add a watch to the collection but you have like wow. another piece how this, much would this, this, this is incredible. how much would this how much would this disgusting thing cost man i think it's gonna Ooh. sell for like oh, five really mil. you don't like it i don't know no no I, it's it's it's, 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 it's Expensive. Disgustingly amazing and inexpensive. I think it's oh, beautiful. Yeah. I really like I, it, but I, I mean, it's probably stupid expensive. If, yeah. if they gave you one of these that had the most value, it's auction. It, it we don't know how much it's going to be because it's going to be. I mean, this off. is probably a hundred grand, right? For sure. I mean, people are going to be fighting for this like crazy. Is this and newer? This, this is look at this. Watch? Every oh, and it's got new? thirty hours of power reserve. You have to wind it by hand. I can. Oh my. Oh, that, that would be God. annoying. Are you serious? Yeah. Changing the date on it. Imagine doing that. That's got to look. Suck. There's buttons to change dates and everything. You see uh, this? Week, day, uh, moon phase, month, and C. You know what? Oh, you know what that crank reminds me of. My my father had this clock over our fireplace, and I remember he had the special crank that was very precious because it was the only yeah. thing that could fit it. And, he, and it was put away, and he had to put it into the clock and crank it in order to wind it. It was like the, it was uh, one of my first experiences with like clocks yeah. at all was that because it was always over a fireplace. And this reminds me of that completely. Obviously, not as expensive, but reminds me. This is beautiful. And look at, at the bottom; it says "the only one." 
guys. Exclusive. I mean, it doesn't get as uh, more exclusive than this. Yeah, that's sick. That's just. I'm, uh, I'm thinking at the auction that this and probably the Jorn go uh, go first, second, yeah. in no particular order. <laughs> yeah, that's who's gonna sit there for sure. The Jorn is man. People are gonna be. Uh, oh my god! I can't. People are gonna be fighting over that that Jorn. Yeah, the pattern does cream really well. Like that dial color. That's beautiful. Amazing. I love it's that like dial salmon color. dial. I yeah. love it. I love it. It's beautiful. It, yeah, it's, it's so, a mix between cream and salmon. It's the perfect, yeah. perfect mix. Shane says, does it have Bluetooth? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. Aftermarket. Yeah. You can mod it with Bluetooth. I wonder how big it is. It's so cool. Look at this. The, the yeah, power man. reserve is in the middle. Like, is it small, like a deck of cards, or like uh, is this a who big? Knows. I, mean, to say. I don't know. Aesthetically, I'm taking that VC clock over this. Mm. 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 Imagine I mean, it, 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 it's a. It. This is just to show how rich you are. This yeah. is just you just put it somewhere. Hot shot law. It's for hot shot lawyers. Mm. So, so captain should get it for sure. <laughs> no, we're, I'm just a poor. A poor, uh, a poor boy from a poor family. Mm. Mm. It's the, mm. the CEO bankers, of the farm. Bankers. Still, I think it, it's a cool experiment. It's a yeah, for cool, sure. cool experiment. Yeah. I just want to know how big it is. Yeah. That's this, my oh, 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 oh. Actually, you know what? There, there's going to be parameters in the in the description. Like, is mm. it like the size? Okay, here we go. 106, 164 millimeters. What is that? What does that even mean? Let me let me get a rule. Google so sixteen uh, centimeters. Again, what does that even? Oh, uh, I got I got a thing close here. Close to a foot. Here we go. What are we looking at here? Sixteen. Here we go. So sixteen. So it's yeah. Oh, hold on. I'm sorry. Second, I got it. I got you guys. Oh, it's shit. gonna be a, that. Oh, it's this. Marco's big. trolling me with the sunglasses. Yeah, the glasses. See? I that big. Are you shit? Are you kidding me? It's yeah. not even the side, like the palm of your hand. It's smaller than the palm of my hand, so That's it is. Place. It is bigger than the deck of cards. I guess the 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 clock itself. It's gonna be the size of this glass. It's literally something you just keep on your desk then. Yeah. Next to your computer. Yeah, you just have it like, like I have an iPad propped up over here too. Yeah. That was weird. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, is it, was that a soundbite for me? That was. Uh, that was weird. weird. <laughs> Are you taking yeah. soundbites of me, Tim? You yeah, I do. Out? Yeah. That was weird. <laughs> it was good, right? <laughs> <laughs> I got this one. If this little punk ass bitch doesn't make me a moderator right now, I will never come on your show again. That's, that's yeah, what I had to say. Shaking, right? Make me a that's what I had to say. Yeah. Think about really think about Rich Buddy about you think know what happened that right day. Now, you little bitch. <laughs> you think about that man and just like the time. I like low key feel bad for him because mm. he just like did not know what he was doing when he said that when he went off like that. Yeah, he exploded. That was a uh, uh, Rich Buddy explodes. Like man, dude, poor guy. He hasn't come on the stream since then, huh? Has he come back? Oh, uh, he came once. He came once. Oh, okay. I said I gave I gave I remember giving him a super chat once. I said, here's my super chat for Rich Buddy because I like the name Rich Buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Better it was better when Archie read it, but hey, I Poor tried. <laughs> no, no, little bit, you know. It's never good to blow up like that, especially in public. It's like it yeah. always comes back to bite you in the ass. Yeah, I mean, Archie seems to do it all the time. <laughs> oh, I mean, Jesus Christ, yeah. Hey, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you just gotta, uh, you gotta let it out. You gotta let it out. Yeah. And explodinate. But better to do it maybe privately. Yeah. Privately. Or and, or on somebody else's channel. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> Ratings, Tim. Ratings. Yeah. All right, I guys. I, I think we did our dues. Uh, I said half hour, but we went for an hour and a half, which is a little bit too crazy. Yeah, did you do a pre-show before? Yes, a three and a half hour is pre-show. Then you yeah. did the show, and then you did the post-show. Yeah. Let's get Theo and Harris on here. That would be wild. Mm. Oh. I want to ask him about his hair regimen. 
how does he keep his locks so full? Yeah, all right. He has, <laughs> he has amazing hair. He actually does <laughs> no, have amazing I hair. Want to say I, know. That, I was like, dude's all hair for sure. Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> I'm definitely going to try to reach out uh, to the wristwatch celebrities to come onto the show and talk watches. Uh, it's possible that you know maybe Watch Gringa can come join. Maybe hey. maybe Adrian, Barkin Jack. I'm gonna work on great. Paul Thorpe. Uh, maybe, maybe. Just gotta, just gotta keep hustling. Exactly. And keep growing the channel, guys. Thank you for watching. This was awesome. Glad I could come for a few minutes. Great. Great yeah. to see everyone. Best yeah. exit music in the game, Tim. <laughs> vibes, all yeah, vibes. It kind of became a part of a part of a show, kind of. Love it. Ah. So awesome, so awesome. All right, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. That's right. And oh, don't forget, tomorrow, uh, the Marco and JJ will be doing an after show on the watch and talk. Well, there will be we'll be dropping a link. So oh. see you guys. Happy Canada Day to 